Hey everybody, I thought I'd do a thing on my trials and tribulations I've experienced during my journey of growing things. It all started with my container garden located on the back patio of my apartment. I wish I had some pictures for you, but I don't. I grew tomatoes, sweet green and red peppers, jalapeno peppers, potatoes, herbs, green beans, cucumbers, and I think that's about it. Anyway, the season ended, all the peppers and cucumbers were harvested, and holy crap, I had a ton of both of those. All of the tomatoes, most of them had blight, unfortunately, were brought in. All of the lovely potatoes were pulled up and have either been consumed, dehydrated, or given away. And, you know, it made me sad looking at all the herbs still trying to grow, so I brought the ones that still looked healthy in. There was sage, lemon balm, garlic chives, peppermint, rosemary, and oregano. The basil was totally spent, but I had started a small hydroponic jar of basil that was doing splendidly. It's not pictured here, but it'll make an appearance in a second. I was still growing everything in soil. It was working great, but I didn't like fighting the pests outdoors and having to water them all the time was difficult seeing as how I live in an apartment and the landlord was complaining about the water bill he had to pay. And honestly, I wasn't using much. Most of the water I used was captured from the crappy roof gutters that sprang leaks all over the place, which turned them into water spouts basically every time it rained. So that worked. But since the basil was growing in the jar was doing so well, and since I had heard that fish waste was really good for plants, I decided to combine the two in an effort to have what most refer to as an aquaponic garden. I made a minnow trap out of an empty two liter bottle. Yeah, there it is. Looks pretty redneck, but you know what? It worked great. I put some old bread in it, then sunk it in the stream that runs in front of my apartment. It worked famously. I caught an absolute ton of minnows. A couple of them were pretty big, maybe three or four inches long. I didn't even know fish that big were in the little tiny stream. Um, you know, that basically it's a half a foot deep at its deepest spot. I'm almost inclined to think they're something other than your garden variety minnows you see everywhere in streams near the shore at lakes and whatnot. Um, anyway, so this is my first attempt at an aquaponic garden. Don't laugh. <laughs> Basically, all I did was take the lid off a styrofoam cooler, turn it upside down, cut holes in it, and made a cutout for the filter, you know, the fish tank filter. Then I cut holes in styrofoam cups, threw in some hydroton, and uh, along with the cuttings for my outdoor peppers and chocolate mint, um that you know was placed inside rock wool, rock wool cubes so they would propagate and form roots hopefully i also put the basil i'd been growing in the jar in one cup and some mint i had bought from the store that i had washed the soil out of you know the roots um and then some cucumbers I found growing in my worm bin, <laughs> and I put them in another cut. I uh, plugged them all down into their little holes right on top of the fish tank with my captured minnows swimming happily below. <laughs> all of this was placed in a shelf unit. As you can see, I have some hastily thrown up reflected sheets taped to the inside of this like shelf unit. Um, it's lit with a T5 light that's suspended from a shelf up above. It only uses a few watts of power, so, you know, I'm cool with that. But that's it. Voila. That's my aquaponic garden. <laughs> For a little while, that is. More on my ingenious aquaponics later. Anyhow, so I decided to get fancy and do a bucket hydroponic system for the cucumbers that I found growing in my worm bin. I placed them in their now awesome root system into a plastic salad strainer. Uh, it was like 88 cents at Walmart or something with a bunch of hydroton, which I then placed into a hole I had cut out of a plastic lid to this huge salad bowl I had and never used because it's too freaking gigantic of a bowl for any of my purposes. And then I placed all of that on top of a cheapo five gallon bucket that I got for less than three bucks. It didn't come with a lid, hence me cutting into my other lid I had on hand. Um, and then I just, I put just enough water with about half strength fertilizer in it to come to the bottom of the basket strainer you know um thing which i had carefully put the roots you know through the little holes anyway um i have that lit with a clip-on lamp that's clipped to the top shelf of the cabinet in front of it which houses my my ingenious aquaponics tank um 
and with a grow light in it I got from Walmart. It's the 450, 650 nm, whatever that means, purple one that uses only 8 watts of power. Uh, so that's great. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to encourage growth, but it says plant light on the box and it was cheap, so I'm giving it a go. In the bottom right hand corner, if you can see, there's a little tray I started some seeds in. I took out of my tomatoes I had grown, um, as well as some green bell peppers and giant uh, red Marconi peppers. And you know what, I had not really prepared them, especially not the tomato seeds properly. Um, I just threw them down in there in the soil, covered them up and watered them a little bit. Anyway, um, they were placed in uh, the garden soil. Literally nothing sprouted after two weeks, so I more or less gave up on them. So anyhow, this is what my um, little hydroponic system looks like from viewing from the top down. And uh, the cucumbers, the, they're lovely. They're doing pretty good so far. Right now, I'm not circulating the water with air. I'm planning on adding that probably tomorrow. I need to get another air pump, some tubing and a stone. Easy peasy. I can just do that, but you can kind of see what it looks like, you know, from the top. But then, what is this I see? <laughs> Out of the seeds I planted in the egg carton tray, I found one tiny little sproutling coming up in one section after I had no ignored the tray for like half a week. I had done nothing. It was, I mean, I just basically set it aside. It wasn't in a light or anything. Um, so I cut it out of the tray and bought it up closer to the, you know, the T5 light. I couldn't remember what seed had been planted in that section and I didn't want to disturb the soil to see if I could find any other seeds. So I just let it grow. Um, and there's a little gray hair growing there too. <laughs> I wonder who that belongs to. And guess what? Just yesterday, I noticed another tiny thing poking its head out of the soil of the same little cup. I still have no idea what these are. I'm not that well versed in, in growing things from seeds, so I have no freaking clue what these are. They could be peppers or tomatoes. So if you know what they are, please let me know. I would surely love to know. And now we have the next incarnation of my ingenious aquaponics system. After reading and watching many videos on aquaponics, I discovered that what I had initially wasn't really an aquaponic garden. It was just a bunch of plants plunked down into a fish tank. <laughs> For it to truly be an aquaponics system, the fish waste has to be delivered to the plants, not just the water the fish are swimming in. It's not only their liquid waste, but their solid waste that needs to be delivered to the plants for them to reap all the benefits and thrive so don't get me wrong the plants were doing well but I know they could be doing better um so instead of putting together a really awesome aquaponic garden I decided to merely modify what I already had so I cut down another styrofoam lid turn it upside down and placed it into the top of the fish tank but without cutting holes for the cups to go down into it's hard to see in the image but I was able to fashion it so that the fish tank filter emptied into the tray um, you can kind of see that lower lower left hand side that's where the the filter you know empties into the tray um, the actual carbon filter has been removed because if not, you know, what's the point, you know? I've got the tray positioned and shimmed so that it's higher near the filter and lowest at the lower right hand corner. I put a nice sized hole into that corner so that the tray would only fill so much before it would empty out through that hole. Um, so yeah, I I cut the hole too big so some of the, the smaller hydrotin could exit through the hole, which I didn't want. So if you look real close, you can see what I used to remedy this. <laughs> yeah, I rednecked it. But as you can imagine, it drains via gravity. I planted the basil right into the hydrotin as well as the store-bought mint. By the way, I have pinched off both plants many times already, so they're doing really great. I also decided to see if the chocolate mint had formed roots yet, and it had. So I trimmed down the rock wool that was around it and planted that closest to the filter. I hope it grows bigger and bigger because I really love the flavor of this mint. All the other plants I just put into styrofoam cups with liquid fertilizer, you know, in the bottoms. Um, I'll check those frequently to make sure they still have fluid in there. Hopefully I'll start seeing roots coming out of their hole soon. They're, let's see, they're green bell peppers, 
uh, top left, jalapeno peppers, top middle, and giant red Marconi's top right. Jalapeno peppers are not doing very well at all. The leaves have dropped off, so I don't know, it's probably dead. Other than that, I've harvested seeds from the fruits of all my pepper plants I grew outside, as well as some tomatoes. I will, and I did the tomatoes right this time. I, you know, fermented them and separated them and all that. I will start growing them soon, but for now, this is what I'm doing. And just so you know, I know I'm doing it wrong. Yes, I know, but I'm learning from my own mistakes and it's feeling pretty glorious, actually. I know this has been long, so I'll close now. Thanks for watching or reading, if that's your thing. I'll have this transcript posted on my blog. Wish me luck, fellow growers. <laughs> At least pray that I don't kill all the fish. Mm-hmm. <laughs>